Is there a simple way of building a dual band vertical antenna, one that's very cheap, one that's easy to make? Well, yes, there is actually. All you need, believe it or not, is a bit of wire. Really, Peter? A bit of wire? Let me show you a dual band vertical antenna that you can build yourself very quickly in your back garden or in the States, your backyard. For some while I've been using a simple vertical antenna at the bottom of my garden. It's a 20 meter vertical, it only has one radial, and it's raised above the ground by about 2 meters. The reason it's raised above the ground by 2 meters is because if you raise a vertical above the ground you get improved performance, something like 1S point. And if you use a, sim a single radial, well, it's a simple way of operating the antenna, bringing it to resonance, making it to work. It doesn't take up much room and you get some directivity. And also that single radial works extremely well. In fact, it's regarded generally that if you put two radials on an elevated vertical antenna, that equates to something like about 16 or 20 radials buried in the ground. And of course, as I just said, raising the antenna off the ground gives you improved performance and that's been demonstrated quite a lot recently when I've been talking and conversing and working ZL3XDJ Brian uh, in the southern island of New Zealand. Um, he's raised his antenna off the ground and got remarkable improvement. So let's take a look at what's involved. One of the simplest verticals to make is a vertical with a single radial. This We'll take the 20 meter antenna, which we're going to talk about in this video. That's a quarter wave on 20 meters, so it's about five meters long. That preferably should be about two meters above ground because a, a radial or a vertical that is above ground um, by two or three meters works a lot better than a radial on the ground. You get about at least one S point improvement if you raise the vertical off the ground. In other words, you've got elevated radials. Now we're going to, with this very simple vertical, we're going to take one radial and it's going to go back towards an angle towards the ground. It could be 30, 40 degrees, whatever. It's not important. And the ground is there. So we've got something like about two meters space there. And we feed that uh, vertical with coax cable. Now, this radial is also a quarter wave, so it's also about five meters long. And that basically is a very simple vertical. It gives about six dB of gain over a vertical uh, on the ground. And even with one radial, that one radial beats quite a few radials at ground level. And in fact, it's generally accepted now that if you have an elevated vertical with two radials, it's as good as something like 16 or 18 radials on the ground, plus you get uh, an improved signal strength. So that's basically it. Now, if you look at that, it's a dipole, but it's a bent dipole. That's exactly the same antenna, but with, instead of the radial going at an angle, it's there. It's a vertical dipole, and you could have a vertical dipole, but it's much easier uh, to have this configuration for two reasons. First of all, it's easier to feed because the feed point is only a couple of meters above the ground. And also you get some directivity, that radial there, you get some directivity, not a lot, but you get a bit of directivity in the direction of that radial. So I suppose you could actually walk around the garden and change the directivity of the antenna. Anyway, that's not the thing we're going to discuss today. What we want to do is to try and make this antenna work on two bands. Now, this antenna currently is on 20 metres. What I want to do is to make it work on uh, seven, uh, 17 meters as well as 20 meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very simple thing. I'm going to add another radial, but this other radial is going to be shorter. In fact, that's not to scale. Let's make that a bit longer. So that other radial is going to be a bit shorter. So we've got a five meter radiator there. This is the other five meters of the dipole. And we're going to have a shorter one there, which is about, uh, what is it? I, I can't remember the exact length at the moment, but it's, let's call it four metres. That will get us, if we get the length right, 
onto the uh, 17 meter band. Now, how does that happen? Well, let's remove that radial for a minute and just look at what we're going to do on the 17 meter band. We're going to have a quarter wave radial there for 20 meters, which is five meters long. It's a bit confusing, I know. And we're going to have a short radial there. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that the total length of that is a half wave on 17 meters. If we make that a half wave on 17 meters, then it's going to be resonant. But the feed point is fundamentally off center now. So that means to say the impedance rise, rises there. The impedance will rise um, to around about 200 ohms, something like that. Whereas on 20 meters, we've got an impedance of roughly 50 ohms. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this radial whilst keeping the 20 meter uh, quarter wave radial there in place. So in other words, you've got two radials. Now the length of this radial has to be done by experiment, but basically you want that five meter radial plus that length there to equate to a half wave on 17 meters. So let's now try and draw this in a three dimensional format. So I'm not an artist, artist, you'll have to excuse the drawing. We've got our vertical radiator, which is a quarter wave on 20 meters. So that's five meters long. We've also got our radial, which is also five meters long. And that's coming out at an angle. Bear in mind that this antenna is about two meters off the ground. The, the distance off the ground is not critical. If you get it to around about two meters or more above the ground, then it's going to work pretty well. That's the ground there. And that's fed with coax cable at that point there. We're now going to add a radial, a shorter radial here. That shorter radial is going to comprise, or with that quarter wave radial there for 17 meters, it comprises a five meter length of wire there, plus an extra length of wire there to resonate it on 17 meters. Now, if we do it in uh, old money, I ended up with a radial about eight foot long, um, which would be something like about one point, what would it be, 1.8 meters, something like that. Call it 1.8. Now, the reason I say call it 1.8 is because the only way to get this radial uh, correct uh, dimension is to trim it. So you have your 20 meter antenna there. You've added a shorter radial there. That shorter radial combined in with that five meter length of wire should resonate on 17 meters and it's all automatic. So what you need to do is you need to feed uh, energy on 17 meters or an antenna, antenna analyzer choose, tuned to 17 meters and just trim that back until you get a resonant point in the 17 meter band. Now, what you will find is you'll get a very good match on 20 meters. You'll probably get 1.2 to one or something like that. Very low VSWR because the whole thing is resonant on 20 meters. On 17 meters, you'll probably won't improve much um, better than something like 2 to 1 VSWR. Now 2 to 1 VSWR is perfectly acceptable. Most modern transceivers have got a, an antenna mass unit built in anyway, but even if they haven't, they're probably quite, they're probably just about cope with 2 to 1. And the loss that you get with a 2 to 1 VSWR is so small, it's not even worth worrying about. In, in other words, even with a 2 to 1 VSWR, you'll get full, uh, full performance. So you end up with an antenna which covers two bands. You feed it with coax cable, you get a very low VSWR on 20 meters, and you'll get quite a reasonable VSWR on 17 meters. And that is your dual band vertical antenna um, for 20 meters and 17 meters. And all you need to do is to add a length of wire. The good thing about this simple vertical is that it doesn't take much space. You can use a fiberglass pole to form the vertical, or whatever you like, as long as it's not conductive. And you just need a couple of bits of wire there. The radials work extremely well, and it means to say you haven't got to spend a lot of time burying radials, um, buying the wire, burying it under the grass, etc., etc. 
you get an improved performance because the, the vertical is raised off the ground. And when you want to cut the lawn, you just move the radials around or fold them up or whatever, and then put them back um, late, later on when you finish the work. So it's quite a compact antenna. And there we are. I hope you followed that uh, description. It's a very simple uh, thing to do. It's probably more complicated to explain than it is to actually do. You do need to, first of all, get the antenna resonant on 20 metres and uh, use your normal method of that with an antenna analyzer or just measuring the VSWR and trimming the antenna until you get resonance. Basically, if you've got a five metre vertical um, on the top section of the uh, antenna, then you can just do the trimming on the, uh, the radial, which is near the ground and easy to work on. And once you've done that, then you'll add your 17 metre radial and trim that to get the VSWR down. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a go at it because it's very simple. It works extremely well. It doesn't cost much. And uh, it's an interesting exercise. So I hope you uh, found this video interesting. I hope that uh, um, you've uh, been following all the other videos that we publish. Uh, there's a whole lot now in the library. And uh, thank you for your support on this channel, actually. It's, it's very much appreciated. We do appreciate the report. And uh, if you're interested in following this channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button. That just indicates um, how well we're doing and whether we're doing the right thing. In the meantime, you enjoy your ham radio, you take care, and I look forward to seeing you, as usual, in the next video. Bye for now.